Hi, my name is Russ Mitchell, and I am your student's AP Calculus AB teacher. And so I, what I want to do is I want to go into a short um, um, PowerPoint presentation for back to school night and then also talk about um, how my Google Classroom is set up so you know how to navigate and where things are located in my Google Classroom. So once again, welcome to back to school night for this school year. Um, and I'm Mr. Mitchell and my classroom is room 502. So my contact information, my school email is rmitchell at selmausd.org. And my school phone number is 898-6550. And my extension is 42502. So a little bit about myself. Um, I graduated from Selma High School back in 1986. Um, I have a bachelor's in mathematics um, from Fresno State. And then I earned a master's degree in math, mathematics education from Fresno Pacific University. And um, currently I'm working on my physics credential. Um, this is my 29th year teaching in Selma. Um, 27 of those years, I only taught math. And then last year and this year, uh, I'm teaching both physics and math. Some of the goals I have for, for this class um, is to communicate mathematics clearly, accurately, and precisely. And I talk about this um, to my students a lot. Um, when we're taking the AP exam, someone who does not know them is gonna be grading them. And they, don't, they can't sit there and go, oh, I know what they meant. So I have to grade them the, way, the same way that a stranger would grade them. Are they communicating with both symbols and words and combinations of those? Are they communicating the mathematics correctly and accurately that leads them to the correct answer, okay? So I, I'm, I, I grade according to that, all right? Um, I wanna also improve their reasoning and problem solving abilities every day in class. And ultimately, I wanna prepare the students to take the AP Calculus AB exam and, and pass it. Um, this year, the AP Calculus, Calculus exam is Monday, May 9th. Um, I'm available um, most days um, after school um, in my room. Most days after school, um, I'm here before school. I usually try to get here anywhere between 7 a.m. and 7.20 a.m., um, but I'm available at lunch. I'm, all, I'm available after school as long as I don't have any um, type of staff meeting or anything like that. Um, but I'm here to help your student. So if they need something, they just need to come and I'm more than happy to help them, okay? So the other thing I would like to do is um, go over how my Google Classroom is set up. So my Google Classroom is set up by topics and the topic is, is the weeks of the school year. So at the very top would be the latest school so the week. So this is um, last week's um, assignments. Um, the, the one, the topic below that is the prior week's assignments and so on. Um, the one thing I really want to stress with, with all of you is when it says student notes, if you click on this, what I've provided here is a blank PDF of the students, um, a blank sheet. It's what I give them in class to take notes on. This is a completed PDF. So it says teacher notes. That's, that's the notes that I show them in class and the things that I write down. So they can just take this and copy it over. And then I also provide um, a YouTube link to um, videos. Um, and every lesson I have um, is recorded for AP Calculus. Um, that's one of the benefits of the pandemic is that I've recorded every single lesson for AP Calculus. Um, so if, if anything can come out good out of this pandemic, it's every lesson's recorded. So if a student's absent, they still have access to the lesson. It's just not this blank um, notes that they're trying to figure out, like what, what, what was Mr. Mitchell trying to write here, okay? Um, also on homework, um, a lot of times I I've converted homework problems from the book and I put them on a worksheet. And that's um, so that students have access to them anywhere. Um, they just don't have to have the book in front of them. I also provide solutions um, to the assignments. One of the benefits that a lot of students have said is that they can get immediate feedback to know if they're doing the problem right or wrong, or if they um, have made a mistake, they can find, find the mistake. And if they absolutely don't know how to solve a particular problem, they can look at the solutions to help them. I, and I stress with the students that um, 
you know, this is a learning tool and like all tools, it can be abused. So I tell them, you know, you may, you may copy it. You get the homework points, you copy the solutions and it's just flat out copying. And I stress with them, like, that's not going to help you learn. You have to look at it and use it as a tool and learn from your mistakes. So I stress that a lot with them. Um, it's not about just getting the homework points. It's, it's really about learning and being able to pass um, tests. Um, quizzes, like I have a quiz right here, it's blank. There's nothing attached to this because quizzes and tests are taken in class. So if a student's absent, then all they need to do is come in and they need to, to take it um, like after school or at lunchtime or before school, whatever. I, I, I really try to work with students and really try to help them. Um, um, and so, and then again, I talked about homework, um, but really it's, it's notes, homework, quizzes and tests. All right. So again, it's set up by date. So this was all of last week's, all of the, all of this was last week's assignments. Um, and then this was the week prior. There's like, you may be wondering why there's a few less assignments here. And, and that's only because we had a test that week. So, all right. So I just wanted to end this video presentation um, and just thank you. Thank you for sending your students to school. Uh, thank you for trusting us with them. Um, and I just hope you have a wonderful um, and joyous day. Have a good day.